helping my friend Tom out with a project today where we're putting in a driveway drain. And the reason is because when it rains, the water flows down the driveway and because of the crown of the driveway, really pulls up on the left side and then flows down his pavers and into the foundation plantings around the house. So today, we're going to cut the driveway and install one of these drains across it. And then the drain will exit on this side downhill and we'll, a tile drain will take it that way. To accomplish this, we're using this really cool product called a storm drain from RELN. That's the company there. And they've been really helpful as far as answers to our questions. And as you can see, their instructions are pretty well explained. This is the storm drain. And these are three different pieces of four feet each. There's end caps. So you can customize them to whatever length you'd like. And on this end, there's a little leaf or debris filter and you can pop the top off with a screwdriver and, and clean it anytime. So on the downstream side of things, we're going to kick it down downhill with these uh, 290s, 4-inch Schedule 40, and then convert it over to a 4-inch, and then from there it's a 4-inch drain tile. We're going to start with striking our lines where we want this. On each side of the drain tile, it's 4 inches. Four inches. So we're going to take the width of the drain tile, add 4 inches to each side, chalk or or mark a line there, use the demo saw to cut it, or remove the asphalt, remove some stone, whatever is below, so that the top of the drain is about an eighth of an inch below the top of asphalt. We're going to put some sand in the bottom to make it nice and flat and bed the storm drain, and then lock it in with concrete on each side. So, wish us luck.
end seems great. Seems like it's just below it. The little tap yeah, of this yeah, once we get it yeah, in. That's what's fancy. So this is the down. We're using the Schedule 40 PVC here is we have very little cover on top of this joint. We want to dive the pipe down as quickly as possible. If we didn't have this, we'd have very little cover in this first foot or two section. So these two 90s, this is a street 90, and that's uh, just a regular 90. That'll allow us to turn um, and get down, get as much cover as quickly as possible. So we're going to glue this joint, glue this joint, and that end of the PVC. We're going to use this fitting to con uh, convert over to uh, field tile. Yeah, because they um, w w still when it rains, it catches this yeah. edging and it comes yeah. down. So, do you think that's enough, or should we bring it over more? Now I'm only filling it up halfway because we're going to stick some rebar in there. Plus I'm trying to consolidate it a little more and vibrate it into the little crevices.
perfect timing because now we just lay a rebar in. Which side? Um, Which side? So we'll just do one here. And that just strengthens the concrete. Oh, yeah, right this will help tremendously. I don't know why. I think of Oops. Yeah, this is good. <clears throat> it won't hurt to have this sticking out this way a little bit for strength on the edge here. Yeah, I think it'll help oh, cantilever. Smart, right, we'll just right. Make it more of a... So now it's just a matter of uh, shoveling, shoveling this up to our height.